six. Four. The last time NASA's Endeavour space shuttle was in launch position. And lift off for the final launch of Endeavour. It was on its final mission to space. Now, more than a decade later, Endeavour is about to embark on one last journey as the California Science Center in Los Angeles prepares to lift the shuttle upright for a first-of-its-kind exhibit that will be the centerpiece to the museum's new Samuel Ocean Air and Space Center. So whose crazy idea was it to take it from this position and stand it up as if it's going to be launched? This is a vision that actually we had 30 years ago. We said the best way to display it would be in launch position. Not only the best position, but the most technically challenging position to possibly put it into. Absolutely true. This won't be the first time Endeavor makes a big move. In 2012, when the shuttle first returned home to California where it was built, Endeavor was flown atop NASA's shuttle carrier aircraft past the Golden Gate Bridge, and over the Hollywood Hills. Before, a team of engineers helped inch the massive spacecraft through the streets of Los Angeles, a project my own dad worked on, and land at the California Science Center. Endeavor's next mission is even more complex, as the team meticulously stacks the space shuttle system piece by piece, starting with the aft skirts, then solid rocket boosters, followed by the 154-foot external fuel tank, and finally the nearly 100-ton shuttle itself, all to create the only display of an authentic space shuttle system in the world. Oh, wow, this is cool. Look. The museum's president, Jeffrey Rudolph, let us drop in on the construction project as the team lifted the last piece of the solid rocket boosters into place. So look at this. The workers are basically going to catch it and then fasten it to the top of the solid rocket booster. I've never seen anything like this. For an even better view, we climbed 15 stories. Heading up, 150 feet in the sky, let's go. To get a glimpse of what's to come. So the museum, quite literally, as you're moving these pieces into place, is being built around us. Yeah, we're actually putting in the shuttle, and then we'll finish the rest of the building around and above it. I made the mistake of saying you're going to drop the shuttle in. We're not going to drop it. We're going to lower it gently. <laughs> Very <carefully>. gently and <laughs> slowly. Before its final lift. So you can step up here. OK. Project director and NASA veteran Dennis Jenkins let us get an exclusive last look inside Endeavor and crawl into the flight deck. This is the commander's chair. Where it's a tight squeeze into the front seat of history. This is one of the last times that anybody's gonna sit in these two chairs. It is probably the last time. What does it feel like for you to just be sitting in a seat one last time? I love it. I used to sit in that seat a lot because all my controls were overhead. Um, so it's great being up here. When this thing goes vertical, um, what's your hope for it? You know, how it's going to inspire a new generation of potential astronauts, engineers. Yeah, it's the engineers I care more about than the astronauts. I mean, everybody wants to be an astronaut, but what we need is engineers, and hopefully this will inspire a bunch to go to school to be those things. The hope now that the final endeavor for this shuttle will launch new dreams of space exploration. Well, Jacob, you got some incredible access there. Um, talk to us about the next steps in this process. Well, Hoda, in L.A., everybody's got to commute. They say 45 minutes minimum. This thing's got a two-hour uh, commute, as a matter of fact, around the corner in order to be stacked vertically. They say it's supposed to be done by the end of the week, but then the main event happens. Check this out. Maybe the best shrink wrap job in the entire world. This is the Space Shuttle Endeavor. It's open to the elements now because they're going to disassemble this structure around it. And over the course, uh, hopefully, of the next two weeks, if all goes as planned, this thing gets moved as well, stacked vertically. Then they have to build the museum around the entire stack itself, and that's not slated to open maybe for as long uh, as two years. It's going to be a, an extraordinary process to watch, and this is like Geek Central. It was amazing to be inside that thing, guys. Oh, we could tell by that look on your face. All right, Jacob, thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.